joint is what you have in your elbow and your knees, right? Now, when you use the hinge joint in your elbow, and I go like this, what is this type of movement? Flexion, right? Because flexion, the definition of flexion is when you decrease the angle between two bones, right? So I'm decreasing the angle, this is flexion, and when I increase the angle between bones, that's extension, right? But I told you in the video, just remember, flexion is when you fold. That's it. You fold is flexion. Now, when I fold at the elbow joint, can you see that my forearm is moving anteriorly? This flexion at the elbow joint. When I fold at the knee joint, where is my leg going? Posteriorly. So flexion at the elbow joint and flexion at the knee joint are moving Parts of my body, either anterior or posterior, they're not going the same direction. And that's when you start getting confused when you go over muscles. Because basically, for me to flex at the knee, the muscles will need to be in the back of my thigh so they go and grab my leg bone. Does that make sense? So they get shortened and I flex at the knee joint. Now, for me to flex at the elbow joint, the muscles will need to be in the anterior aspect of my arm. Does that make sense? The definitions of anterior and posterior and everything else, it needs to be extremely clear for you to understand when things are moving your body and it's flexion and extension or different movements that you need to know of them now. Any questions? No? How many axes would the hinge joint move? That would fall under the unit.